Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Well, it's finally summer here in New England after the worst winter ever, so I'm so happy that it's finally warm out and the sun is shining. But of course, you know, summertime means a change in my skincare routine. Not for my face, I do the same thing all year round pretty much for my face, but from the neck down. In the winter, my main concern with my skin is keeping it moisturized so that it's not itchy and dry and scaly. In the summer, that is not a problem. There's so much uh, moisture in the air and so much humidity that my skin is not really dry. But the main concern in the summer is protecting my skin from the sun and also helping it to look like I've been out in the sun even though I'm keeping it protected. Whether it's winter or summer, I use the same body wash. I use Olay Sensitive Skin Body Wash. This is a great body wash. It's really mild. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't strip the skin. It doesn't affect my moisture barrier. So I get out of the shower and I almost feel moisturized. Then when I get out of the shower, it depends on if I am um, trying to put on a auto tan that day or not. If I'm just moisturizing, the moisturizer that I use is another Olay product. This is Olay Quench Ultra Moisture. This has shea butter and vitamins E and B3. And the important ingredient in here is vitamin B3. That is niacinamide. And I've been reading a lot in the uh, scientific journals lately about um, the clinical testing that has been done on niacinamide and how good it is for your skin. And I was so happy to see that it was in this giant uh, inexpensive drugstore brand that I could use all over my body because I'm big into niacinamide on my face and so I was so happy to be able to bring it down onto the rest of my body and help that skin stay healthier too. So I use this on a daily basis winter and summer but I do like to put on a little bit of a tan. So when I first get out of the shower, instead of using that Olay moisturizer, what I put on instead is Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. This is a self-tanning daily moisturizer and I really love it. Um, I have used some of those overnight self-tanners in the past, but they are a lot of work. And, you know, they really do work. There are a couple that I really like, but I rarely have the time to, you know, put it on, wait for it to dry, go to bed, sleep in it, you know, the whole thing. It just, you know, like I said, it's a lot of work. Um, this is so easy to use. It does take longer, but it avoids all the problems of streakiness and uneven color. What I love about this stuff is that it gradually tans you. So if you want to look fairly tan, you need to start this like a week ahead of time and use it every single day, which is what I do. So if it's just not going to be a super warm week and I'm just going to be wearing a lot of capri pants, I'll just do my lower legs with this. If I'm going to be wearing a sleeveless top like this, I'll just do my arms and my chest. So it depends on how the weather's going to be. If we're looking at a heat wave and I know I'm going to be wearing, you know, short shorts for an entire week, I will do the, you know, my entire leg with it. But that's what I like about it is that you can adjust it. You don't have to do your whole body because it's so subtle and gradual. So there's never a hard line of where you're tanning and where you're not tanning. It's got vitamins and antioxidants. I get the fair to medium. Um, and so if you like a darker tan, I would definitely get the medium to dark because this is a very subtle kind of glow. Um, I've been using it for like, I don't know, two days now on my arm. So as you can see, it's a little tan, but it's not completely tan. Um, and on my chest, I've only used it like twice up here, but it is giving me a little glow already. It will darken up as I use it longer. So after you put that on, then you definitely need to wash your hands so your palms don't get tan as well and wait a few minutes for it to set up so that it doesn't come off on your clothing. But once it's set, it doesn't come off on your clothes. The thing with it and the reason that you need to apply it every day is because when you shower, it a lot of it does come off in the shower so it does gradually build up but where you're kind of taking two steps forward and one step back that's why it takes a little bit longer and the other thing about this is it does not have that self tanner smell because you know how i am about like the sense of things this just has a very nice mild kind of standard body lotion smell so it's a great product i love it so i wait for that setup for a few minutes and then of course you know i am always protecting my skin from the sun and anytime I'm wearing a top like this with my arms hanging out or shorts, I like to sunscreen every all my skin that is going to be showing because whether I'm driving in my car or just sitting by a sunny window, uh, the UVA rays are coming right through the glass and getting on me and causing my skin to age. And while I have done a ton of damage to my skin in the past by baking on the beach when I was younger, 
I have stopped doing that and I now I don't even go out for casual sun exposure without some kind of an SPF on. And the product that I love to use every day is the Banana Boat Sport Performance SPF 50. Um, I also used to love the Banana Boat Ultra, but I find that that sets up a little shiny. What I love about the Sport is that it really leaves a dry, a matte finish behind. For my face, I'm only using mineral-based sunscreens. This is an all-chemical sunscreen. So this has avobenzone, homosalate, and octocrylene. So it has those chemical sunscreens in it, but I'm fine with them for my body. The reason I don't use them on my face is because it, it creates too much irritation because I am using anti-aging products and the combination of those things are too irritating for my face. The best sunscreen for you to use is the one that you'll actually put on. So if you don't like the look or feel of mineral sunscreens and you have no problem with irritation with chemical sunscreens for your face, by all means use it. Just use something every day, okay? So I use this. It's a 50 plus. It's broad spectrum and it even has the uh, Skin Cancer Foundation recommendation seal. The other thing that I love about the Banana Boat um, sunscreen for the body is that it is unscented. So I put on my sunscreen while I'm getting dressed in the morning. So, you know, I'll like put on my Jergens, let that set up for a few minutes till it feels dry. Then I keep this in my medicine chest upstairs in my bathroom. Then I put on my sunscreen and I let that set up, you know, for 15 minutes until it dries as well because your sunscreen needs to set up before you go out in the sun. I just slather myself up everything that's going to be exposed and I am good uh, pretty much for the day if I am really just having casual sun exposure. If I'm just going, you know, 30 seconds outside to get to my car, the SPF 50 will pretty much last me all day. If I am going to be out in the sun, then I do reapply every couple of hours or if I've been inside most of the day and I know I'm going out into the sun for like an hour, then I'll re reapply before I go out. And then the last thing is that you know that um, your hands, of course, are the first things that show your age because they are always in the sun. They're always being washed and exposed to drying chemicals. So they have age spots and wrinkles and oh, the poor things. I wish I could get mine to look much younger, but I have working hands. What can I say? I've never had like beautiful fingers, but I still do like to protect them from the sun because I noticed I'm getting a few age spots and I don't want that. So while I do put my anti-aging um, active creams and lotions and potions from my face on the backs of my hands to try to keep those age spots away, I also like to put sunscreen on them. But I find that the problem is that I put on my sunscreen and then I can't stand how it feels on the fronts of my hands. So I immediately have to wash my hands. And then guess what happens? Most of my sunscreen washes off with it. I have tried to wash my hands where I'm just like rubbing like this and rinsing, you know, with my hands aiming down and trying not to get it on the backs of my hands but it doesn't really work out. My hands end up mostly unprotected. But then I got a great tip from one of my viewers who said, why not just keep a stick sunscreen, you know, near your purse or in your purse or near the door or in the car or in the bathroom where you wash your hands most and just stick sunscreen your hands after you're done washing the sunscreen off that you've put on your body. And I was like, oh my God, so obvious, so brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? So thank you, you know who you are. I'm sorry, I, I looked and looked for your comment, but I couldn't find it. So anyway, one that I like for that is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face and Body Stick Sunscreen. This is in an SPF 70. Just rub it right on there, and now my hands are protected for the day, and I don't have to wash them and wash the stuff right off. You get the fingers as well, you know? <laughs> it's really mainly the backs of my hands. So that was, I thought, truly a brilliant idea. So thanks so much for that. That is all my skincare from the neck down tips for summertime. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. And that's it. Stay safe out there in the sun and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.